Hello, uh, I'm Jay Srikant, IAS 2009 batch, presently working as a district collector Latur. Today I'm very uh, happy to be attending uh, the conference on uh, Maha Metro and Rail organized by Maharata Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture. Uh, in this, uh, as a district collector of Latur, uh, I just want to invite all the industrialist friends to uh, welcome in Latur because uh, Latur is fastly progressing now. After setting up uh, Maratwada coach factory, which is coming up in Latur, we have ample land available. Uh, almost 1,000 acre land is there. Along with that, we have ample water and uninterrupted power supply is there. And Latur is known for education hub of Maratwada, and there is there won't be any problem in regard to schools as well as hospitals, as well as the entertainment and all. So. Uh, uh, after uh, Honorable Prime Minister campaign Make in India and uh, especially uh, in the development of railways, uh, many projects have been coming to Tatur and uh, many one such important project is that Maratwada Coach Factory. So I urge every industrialist friend to welcome in Latur. There won't be any red tapeism, there will be red carpet for you in Latur. So I urge everyone once again to uh, come to Latu. We have ample facilities for you. There won't be any uh, problem as far as any in regard to clearances. The, uh, uh, this particular project is in CM uh, War Room project. So each and every detail is going to be tackled on a timeline manner. So once again, I urge everyone and I thank Maratha Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture for organizing this wonderful conference on uh, Maha Metro as well as the railways, which is coming up in a big way and which is play a pivotal role in the future. Thank you. I am happy to be here at this unique conference which is being organized by MCCI, de dealing with railways and metros, which are the most important subject matters today in India as far as the development is concerned. In Pune Metro, as all of you know, was uh, inaugurated, the foundation stone of this project was led by the Prime Minister himself in December 2016 with a target for completing this project in five years. Obviously, this project is a high priority project for both the central government and state government and it is being executed by a joint venture company called Maha Metro, which is a joint venture between the uh, government of Maharashtra and government of India. What project being, uh, is being executed by Pune Metro is 32 kilometer of total length in, divided in two corridors. One is from north to south, that is from PCMC to Swargate, which is about 16 kilometers, and from uh, Vanas to Ramwadi, that is east-west, which is around 16 kilometers. A part of this project is underground, that is uh, on the corridor one, from Range Hills to Swargate, which is a distance of about 5 kilometers. Essentially, this project is going to change the whole face of the city of Pune, because such kind of investment of 11,420 crores on this project has never been seen in this city in the history. This is going to be a first major trans uh, public transport project being executed for this city, and looking at the rapid growth of Pune and surrounding areas at the rate of 6% per annum, it is absolutely necessary to have this project in place within five years. Not only that, to go ahead with future extensions. And to my mind, the total length which Pune requires is upwards of 150 kilometers of metro, apart from several inputs as far as the present railway system is concerned. Presently, the project is moving at a very rapid pace. We have already achieved a progress of more than 20% in last uh, uh, one and a half years of execution. And we also achieved land acquisition of more than 70%. Nearly 85% of the land is to come from the government and that is why it has become easier to progress with the project at such rapid pace. We are sure that we will be able to partly commission some of the sec elevated sections uh, in 2020 and the whole project uh, we would like to get it commissioned by 2021, which will be a great gift for Pune uh, by 2021. Thank you. 
I am Vijay Mohan Jain. I am the Chairman and Director of DTL Ancillaries, stated in Pune. I started with railways in 19, uh, 2004 and with some skepticism, but it was a delight to have uh, got into railways. It was a sheer cakewalk and uh, people are absolutely supportive and it's absolutely transparent uh, way of uh, purchases. They, uh, they, uh, they, they develop vendors, they promote their vendors, they give the equal opportunities. Unlike in any other field, you have to have a godfather. You don't need a godfather there. The processes are so well laid, you can just get into any activity which you are uh, willing to do and you have the um, uh, wherewithal to manufacture. It's a, it's a, it's a absolutely delight to work with railways. That's my personal experience. And uh, well, I've been in uh, business for the last 50 years. I graduated in 1968. And so I've got plenty of experience to talk about. But uh, yes, a railway is a, is a in thing, and the, uh, is, is the most uh, beautiful organization I've worked with so far. Thank you so much. I am Rajesh Agarwal, member rolling stock, Ministry of Railways, Railway Board. I have come to Pune from Delhi on the occasion of the Maha Conference, which is being organized uh, by the Maharashtra Chambers of Commerce, Industries and Agriculture, and uh, led by the Honorable Minister Shri Sambhaji Patel Nilangekar and also supported uh, completely by my Honorable Minister Shri Piyush Goelji. The entire railway team is here representing all the sectors concerning the development of this Marathwada area. Uh, as you are aware that earlier it was all the railways which was doing the transportation but there, is, uh, there was a shift to the road sector and automobile sector but now we are again seeing a shift towards the rail sector. Here we are presenting in this conference that uh, we are coming in a big way for the metropolitan suburban transport. We are moving the EMUs in Mumbai that's transporting more than 10 million passengers. In Pune area also now we've got almost 44 services between Pune and Grunavla and we are expanding the demo network all over Pune area in all directions. We are coming in with a dedicated freight corridor which is going to be entering Maharashtra and uh, taking inland containers from JNPT. We have also got uh, semi-high speed railway plans. The high speed railway at long last is also going to be entering Maharashtra. And uh, we are also getting into freight production in uh, setting up periodic overhaul and repair facilities in Badnera and also other facilities in Kurdwadi, Ratnagiri. One of the big events happening is the Latur coach factory, which uh, the railways is setting up at an investment of about 500 crores. And uh, this would be a very modern factory for making modern train sets, uh, modern coaches, memos we call them, to serve this area. And uh, there is a huge requirement not only within railways, but we could start exports from this area. Pune and this area has the ingredients of having the right skills, the right IT, the right uh, education base, and the right workforce to take this initiative a lot forward. And once we get started with this rail coach factory for just 500 crores, it could stimulate catalytic investment worth more than a thousand crores in ancillaries which again goes for the larger development of this region. Uh, we are, uh, as I said, come here with a full team of railwaymen. We will be closely associated with this event. We believe that this is a starting point. And as we move further, we will have further engagements with the Maharashtra Chambers of Commerce and Industries and Agriculture, the Honorable Minister Shri Sambhaji Patel Nilinge Karya, the uh, district level and the state level authorities and the business in this area for the larger development. I am working for Bharat Forge uh, and I am thankful to you for inviting me here. Uh, our chairman is uh, fully committed to making India program.
and Bharat Forge has developed a lot of uh, components for railways for which we are uh, some of the components which we are 100% import substitute for the locomotive components and uh, at present we are working to for the coaches uh, CBC couplers and the, some, some of the safety equipments which will uh, reduce the maintenance cost and it, it is something like predictive maintenance I think those uh, components will be very helpful to the LATUR project. The MAHA conference organized today by the Chamber is one of its continuing initiatives to help our members grow their business. Indian Railways uh, is a potential large customer as well as a potential partner in the growth of the industry here. The Indian Railways has grown substantially in its quality and its extension of services in the past 4-5 years. Now they are looking at multiple manufacturing operations and service operations in Maharashtra. All of that could be a great boon to our members. The Chamber wishes to bring this opportunity to the table, to, to the table of our members and wishes to hold our hands in taking this forward. Uh, please make the best use of this opportunity. I am Stan Wachter, Managing Director of Influx uh, Gear and uh, I would thank uh, Maratha Chamber very much for organizing this great event on railway and uh, metal development. As a Pune based company which is part of the IGW group of uh, Belgium, I am very happy um, to be part of this, this event um, because investments in railway in India are very close to our hearts. At IGW, we design, develop and produce gears and gearboxes for the uh, railway components um, such as uh, locomotive, high-speed high trains and metro. Because we were growing our business in India very fast, we have decided to actively participate in the Make in India um, program of the Indian government. And since recently we have brought technology from Europe to India and we are now producing our products also in India for Indian and global markets. Maratha Chamber of Commerce ne Indian Railways Metro ke saath milkar ye jo rolling stock ki conference kiya hai wo bahut hi saraniya kadam hai kyunki Pune mein जिस हिसाब से मेट्रो का डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है और अगले तीन साल में मेट्रो विल कम अप उसमें जो मराठा इंडस्ट्रीज हैं महाराष्ट्र की इंडस्ट्रीज हैं उसको बहुत बड़ा एक एनकरेजमेंट मिलेगा और जब ये मेक इन इंडिया का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है और रेलवे में जो लातूर की इंडस्ट्री आ रही है ये सारा uh, its synergy will be created and it will help in overall development of Maharashtra industry, Indian railways and metro. Thank you.